We're pushing forward our highly promising strategic defense initiative, a security shield that may one day protect us and our allies from nuclear attack. President Reagan's vision for a space age missile shield never made it beyond the realm of video games. And that's still how people often tend to picture it. Even in real life, anti-missile systems often sound like impenetrable force fields. Systems spotted the missile and quickly fired. 42 scuds engaged, 41 intercepted. A 90% success rate in neutralizing the missile threat. But the reality is that intercepting a supersonic ballistic missile hurling through the sky is anything but simple, let alone foolproof. For starters, how far and how fast a missile can go varies widely. There's short range, medium range, intermediate range, then of course, the Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, or ICBM. All of them go through multiple stages of flight. First is the boost phase. That's followed by the mid-course phase and the final descent before detonation, the terminal phase. To take out a ballistic missile, you need sensors that can track the incoming warheads and launchers that fire interceptors, special missiles that can destroy warheads simply by colliding into them. But not all missile defense is created equal. The U.S. uses two different categories to counter North Korea. There's theater defense and there's homeland defense. Theater defense is regional. It includes the anti-missile systems in places like South Korea, Japan, and Guam that shield American troops and allies from short and medium range missiles. For example, U.S. bases across the region are armed with the Patriot Pac-3, which intercepts tactical warheads at close range, just before impact. There are also 19 U.S. warships in the Pacific, mounted with Aegis Naval Defense Radar and launchers. The ships can fire SM-3 interceptors into space to take out warheads in the mid-course phase of flight. And there are high-tech truck-mounted launchers in Guam and South Korea, part of the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, or THAAD. Designed to be agile and mobile, each truck launcher carries eight interceptors capable of destroying missiles 125 miles away, inside or outside the atmosphere. Experts say that the theater defense systems are not likely to intercept every missile in a real-life attack, but they've fared well in field tests. It's an entirely different story when it comes to homeland defense. The system protecting the continental U.S. is called ground-based mid-course defense, it has between 36 and 44 interceptors in Alaska and California, and so far, a track record that might keep you up at night. In 18 test launches since 1999, target missiles have been hit only 10 times. What's the problem? A tough target. The system aims to destroy ICBMs, which fly far higher and faster than lower-range missiles. Experts say it's like trying to hit a bullet with a bullet. Bullets that may be flying 20 times faster than the speed of sound, three times higher than the International Space Station. The task is further complicated by the flurry of debris released when the nuclear warhead separates from the rest of the missile in space. Differentiating the warhead from the debris in the threat cloud is difficult. Experts say even a rising nuclear power like North Korea is capable of using simple decoys or multiple missiles to confuse the sensors. And this system is not even designed to defend against advanced ICBMs from China or Russia. Ground-based mid-course defense is far from a magic shield, but right now, it's the only system protecting the U.S.